Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I have got a very special video. In today's video I am proud to show you the new TBS Crossfire Nano TX. That's right, if you are rocking a FR Sky X9 Lite or maybe you've got the FR Sky X Lite and you've been wanting to fly Crossfire, well, you can finally do it. Because before now, you weren't able to do it, but now that this new module is out, you can run it all you want. Let's go. Oh, oh. All right, pilots, that is right. You heard me right. The Crossfire Nano TX is out. It is here, and it is awesome. Let's go ahead and dive into it and check it out. So if we open it up, you see it's just basic packaging. We've got the module right here. It's got the Crossfire Immortal V2 antenna on it. And then you get another little piece of plastic right here. And I'm gonna explain this in a minute. But let's just take a quick look at the module. As you can see, it's sleek, it's plastic, it's got the TBS logo, Crossfire button, and it's really nice looking. It does have the two screws holding the antenna in, just like the Micro V2. Uh, it is very, very nice. This is a sharp looking little Crossfire. I almost wish that this would fit in the regular X9D or the QX7, because it's much more compact. It's uh, nano. <laughs> so I actually like this module. It does have the type C connection just like the newer micro TX2 has. You also get this with it and there's a reason why you get this with it and that's because right out of the box this does not fit both radios. So there's two applications in which you might need this and one is going to be the FR Sky X9 Lite radio. If you have this radio and you've been wanting to run Crossfire but you haven't been able to, now you can. You, you can uh, pop this back cover off and it will slide right in or if you have have the X light. This is actually the X light S, but it will work with this as well. I also have the 18650 mod, so I can run the 18650 batteries. Plus, it makes the handles a little bit longer. If you want a good compact radio, I actually really like this radio. I've enjoyed it very much. But what I want to show you is how cool this is. Watch this. All we do is we pop this off. And in the past, you really didn't need this uh, unless you bought yourself the JR adapter, which you can, and you can run that if you want to, but this is way better. Watch this. I take the Crossfire Nano TX, and I just simply slide it onto the back and drop down. Boom. Just like that, it is in, connected, and ready to go. Now, right out of the box, this is not going to work just like this because this radio is not set up like that. You will need to flash new firmware onto the radio. You will need to get your Lewis scripts and all that kind of stuff set up on your SD card so that way the radio knows that you have Crossfire inside. If you're curious about that, I do have a video on it. I did those videos on the X9D Plus SE, which is the special edition. It will still work for you too. It is still the Open TX companion. It all still works the same. You'll be able to do it with the Open TX firmware. So don't worry about that. A button or two might be in a different place, but pretty much it's the same thing and you'll be able to run it. All right, so now we have that in there and you get to see what that looks like. And I know you're impressed because that looks super, super sharp. Now, binding will be a breeze. Uh, having amazing range will be a breeze. This thing, I know it's just a nano, but it still puts out one watt. When TBS does their tests, they do do them based off of 20 minutes. That means they turn this module on, they crank the power to the max, they let it run for 20 minutes, they let it get blasting super hot, and then they go ahead and they pull their measurements and then they're able to list it as what it can do after 20 minutes. It's not like they just kick it on and go, oh look, we're getting one watt. Mm -mm. They run it for 20 minutes before they do it and then they kick it off from there. All right, so that is your Nano TX inside of the X Lite. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and pop this out and I'm going to show you why it comes with this other piece. And it's no big deal, don't panic. There's no reason to freak out. It's not a big deal. I'm gonna pop that back on, set my radio to the side. Now, if you have the FR Sky X9 Lite and you wanna run the Nano, you're going to receive it. 
And then you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna find out on the back that your radio and your transmitter don't work together. Can you see that? So due to that, you are given this piece right here. And it's very simple. I'm gonna show you how to do it just in case you just bought yours and you don't know how to do it. So you're gonna need a 1.5 mm driver. And you're gonna go ahead and take these couple screws out. Now you don't get any spare screws, so don't lose them. All right, so after you get your back off, you're gonna see there's one more screw inside of here. If you wanna make your life easy, you can unplug this connector, boom, and now you're able to freely work on this without having it in your way. Let me grab a basic Phillips head driver. You'll put it in, unscrew it, and boom, there you go. So now I'm gonna set that to the side. I'm gonna lay this down. Uh, I'm going to see that it's probably best I plug it in now because I don't know if I'm going to have the ability to plug it in while it's inside of there. And you'll drop this in just like yay. And then take your screw, line it up over the hole, and screw it down. Now I know you saw that that did not take long at all. So now I put my back back on. Boom, snaps together. And what did that take? All of one minute, and now this is ready to rock and roll. So now that we've done the modification, which it's not really a modification, all you're doing is taking out, what, three screws, two screws, and you're just switching over to a different back. It's not a big deal, don't make it one. Now I can take the Crossfire Nano TX, and I can just simply pop it in on the back. Boom. And it is a tight fit, at least mine was. Look at that, that is gorgeous. Ready to go, press my button. Now the same is true with this radio. Let me show you, so when you power up, now what you're gonna notice when you come into your menu, page over, and then what you're gonna notice is you have your internal RF. This will be turned on. You'll have it on access, D16, maybe you're running a D8, whatever you're doing. You're gonna wanna turn that to off and you're gonna come down to external and you'll turn this to crossfire, which will say CRSF. You'll notice on this radio here, it does not have it. I have not spent the time, I did a review of this radio, who knows how long ago, go check that video out. But on here, you have to actually flash this radio, get your firmware up, get your SD card loaded down, and then you'll be able to select it from there. Once you've done that, you are able to run one watt of power, just like the Micro TX V2. And that's it, here you are, ready to go, Crossfire Nano, you can bind wirelessly, you can fly as far as you weigh as you want, there's no more restrictions, unless you're flying R9, so you have an FR Sky Radio, you are not flying R9, you are not flying Crossfire, that means that you have an XM, an XM Plus, or you've got an FR uh, Sky RXSR, you got something along the lines of this, okay? When you fly, you cannot go very far. You can go uh, over the tree, and as soon as you go to get behind the building, you are gonna start to have telemetry issues. Guys, go out, get yourself the Nano TX by Crossfire. Your receivers are 30 bucks. You can put them in and out of any radio you want, and this thing will work flawlessly. If you don't know how to wire up a Crossfire receiver, which is the Nano RX, which will connect to your new Nano TX. I have a full video on it, it's very simple. I show you how to wire it to any flight controller. I show you how to set it up, what's your pinout, everything you need to know, I show you how to do it in that video. I will link that video for you down in the video description. There's no reason to worry, I got your back. Before this video ends, I do have one more surprise for you. That is the TBS Crossfire Nano Retro Kit. So what does that mean? That means that if you have a Crossfire Micro TX V2 
module, right? So you've got an X9D, you've got a jumper T16, T18, anything like that. You've got it, you're running it, you love it, but you just got yourself a FR Sky X9 Lite or maybe an X Lite, whatever, and you want to switch over. You want to be able to use it, but why buy another $120 module when you already have a perfectly good module? Well, guess what? This little kit right here is super, super sweet. Watch this. You can actually, for $6.95, look at this. You actually have the adapter, the front panel, look at this, with the button. You've got the button and the Type-C. You cannot do this if you have the Micro V1. If you have the Micro TX V1, I'm sorry, you just can't do this. They might be working on it, they might not. If you have that, it's as simple as putting on your new case. There you are, front and back and you will need the PCB, but you saw how easy that was. One screw, two connections on this plug, and now you're rocking and rolling. If you have the X light, there you go. X9 light, there you go, all set. You are now running the Crossfire Nano in your other radio. You can easily bring this stuff with you to the field and a screwdriver, and uh, you can switch out if you wanted to. If you had two radios and you wanted to be able to switch over, you can do it and your crossfire will hold it all you can store that stuff right on there and all the amazing stuff that comes with crossfire so now if you're going out and you are buying yourself one of these because you like it and you want it keep in mind you need to try crossfire shot and guess what I've got a video for you on it go down and check that out you're gonna like it you're gonna get better range better response and you're gonna have a seamless flight you've got the TBS fusion you've got the TBS unified crossfire nano crossfire nano RX TX you're ready to go guys this is a full-on experience then it'll be time for you to get Wi-Fi I've got a video on that too not to brag but go check that out and you can have the full crossfire experience well I hope that you guys were able to figure out what a crossfire nano TX is how to change your back how to modify it if you want to get the retro kit and turn over your micro v2 over to a crossfire nano tx and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you on the next one Woo! Oh.